Bobby, Bobby, Bobby. Okay, so let's get started. We have 80 grams of sea urchin or uni. We have the salmon roe. Next is the squid ink pasta. You can order it on Amazon. Some creme fraiche, shallot, fresh chives, and then the squeezy garlic. I just like this because it's easier to use. And then a big pot of water. Sea salt, black pepper, crushed red pepper, extra virgin olive oil, and then I use dry sake, but you can also use Pinot Grigio or dry white wine. For this recipe video, we're also gonna be using a food processor. You can use a blender or an immersion blender. Grab your big pot and fill it halfway or enough to cover the noodles. I just eyeballed it here, but you get the gist of it. And then put it on the stove with medium high heat. Next, we're going to dice the shallots into small pieces. And then same thing with the chives. Set aside four pieces of uni to use as garnish later. I try to look for the largest and prettiest looking pieces out of the pack. Next, we're going to scoop out a third cup of creme fraiche. Now we're going to put the creme fraiche in the food processor, along with the rest of the sea urchin. And now we blend it all up until it turns into a thick and creamy consistency. So your water should be boiling by now. Make sure to salt your water. I put a generous amount because it changes the flavor. Now it's time to drop in your squid ink pasta. It's good to periodically check the noodles and make sure the texture isn't overly soft. After the noodles have been boiling for about 7-8 to eight minutes, it's time to strain them. I like to drizzle some olive oil so it doesn't stick together. Now melt some butter on a saucepan. Add about a tablespoon of garlic. And now it's time to add the shallots. Add a teaspoon of crushed red pepper or skip it all together if you can't tolerate spice. Mix everything in the pan, stirring constantly until softened but not brown. Add a half cup of dry sake or white wine to your pan. Cook until the liquid is reduced down to less than two tablespoons, or about one minute. Now it's time to add the pasta to the pan. Make sure the noodles are well coated in the garlic shallot mixture. Now it's time to add the uni puree into the pan. Set pan over high heat and cook, stirring constantly until the sauce comes together and develops a creamy consistency. Make sure it's well combined and that all the noodles are well covered. Season with black pepper and salt. Now it's the funnest part. It's time to plate. Grab a generous portion of the pasta and put it in the center of the plate. Then grab the salmon roe and put about a tablespoon of it on top of the pasta. Get the uni that you set aside earlier and put it on top of the roe in a crisscross fashion.
Then grab some chives and sprinkle it all over the top. And this is optional, but if you have shredded seaweed at home, then you can also top it with that. And there you have it, squidding pasta with uni and salmon roll on top. Pasta is really well done, not too, not too soft. Nice al dente. Has a good uh, spice level. You can taste the uni and the roe. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel and comment below on what you would like to see next.